hi, welcome to a more seasonally appropriate video. I made these super cute mittens that are really warm. And I wish it was snowing. It's like kind of snowing right now, but you totally can't see. I and mean, if it snows, I will definitely record this again. <laughs> Let's get into it. So I used this pattern that I found on Pinterest. I will link it below. And then I I thought it would be best if I tried it out first to see if it fits my hand. I used this lining fabric that I had left over to make like a mock-up. I mean, it sounds crazy to make a mock-up for mittens, but yeah, that's what I did. It's a three-piece pattern. Two pieces make up the thumb part and the other piece is for the top of your hand. It's actually very simple, that's why I chose it. So I cut out all the pieces and sewed them together to see how it comes together actually and then to see how it fits. Here you can see that I'm sewing right up to the thumb part and then stop and then keep sewing right after the thumb part so it would still move and I wouldn't accidentally attach the thumb to the top part. Here you can see me try it on and I actually fit pretty well but I decided it felt a little tight right at the widest part of my hand so I decided to make that a little wider. So with the mock-up that I made I drew a new pattern which was a little wider at the biggest part of my hand and I also adjust the thumb a little bit so it would be a nicer fit. <laughs> that rhymed. And then I cut out the pattern from my inside fabric that's gonna go on the inside of my mittens. Oh, and I cut this piece too short, so I had to cut it again. I made the inside mittens much longer so I could roll it up and make the inside go onto the outside. You'll see later. I just used a straight... How is it, how is it so difficult to say straight stitch? It's actually pretty difficult. So I used a straight stitch just to go all around and I didn't bother finishing any of the edges because it's gonna be inside of the mittens anyway so it'll be fine. I'm trying it on again only to realize that it's too wide at the finger part so I decided to simply Sew it a little smaller at the finger part, and that's what I'm doing here. Cutting off the excess and doing it all again for the left hand. Yay, two inside mittens, great. And now I'm gonna do the same for the outside fabric. I got this beautiful corduroy that's dark blue and it's kind of satiny. I think that's what corduroy is supposed to be. So I did the exact same steps. I'm turning it inside out because this one's gonna be nice side out. And here I'm shoving my inside layer into the mitten and I also realized it was a little too big, a little too loose. So I decided to adjust it and that's what I'm marking here. If you're annoyed by all these blue fluffs, so was I. So I decided to overlock at least some of the edges to make it a little less insanely fluffy. Oh, the fuzzies, they're still all there. 
all the fluffs i just to be honest i just left them inside it's gonna be inside nobody's gonna see them i'm not even gonna feel them here you can see me fold up the oh, well, what's that called the end bit and i decided to just overlock both parts and flip it up and leave it like it is Ah, more fluffs. Here's the overlock parts, the blue and the white. And then I fold it up once. And twice, and nobody's ever gonna see all the fluffs ever again. Goodbye, fluffs. <laughs> And here's the outcome. They're pretty big, but I think that's what keeps you warm. They're pretty fuzzy inside. Very comfortable, actually. And I haven't tried them in the snow yet, but maybe I will, maybe I won't. Maybe it will snow, maybe it will never snow. Actually, it snowed today, but I was too lazy. I only took this footage. Enjoy. Thank you for watching. Now I have to go eat some fondue, like an actual Swiss person. Goodbye.